To understand wave particle duality, we have to first understand time. In my theory called quantum atom theory, the time continuum is created out of nothing more than photons of light and electrons. Time needs a static reference ring to move against. This is supplied by the wave particle duality of light. When there is a photon-electron coupling, the wave particle duality collapses, creating a moment in time and space. There is a quantum leap of energy that creates a new wave particle function of future possibilities. This is very difficult to visualize, but in this oil painting of a geisha girl walking through sunlight, the particle wave duality of the light will collapse as she walks through the rays of light. She will collapse the wave function into moments of time and space, creating her own space-time. The wave particle duality of light, or electromagnetic radiation, is continuously creating a blank canvas for the observer that she or he can participate in. However insane this theory might sound, it can explain the paradoxes and weirdness of quantum mechanics. We have entanglement because light moves through space but not time as a wave particle function. The polarization of two photons will be set at the creation of its own expanding quantum particle wave function. This will remain the same however great the distance between them becomes because when their wave particle function collapses it will represent the same moment in time for both photons. We have a measurement problem or uncertainty principle because the quantum particle will only have a position in time and space if the wave particle function collapses. If the observer does not collapse the wave particle function into a moment of time, the quantum particle will only have the momentum of its own wave particle function. Therefore, the more accurately we know the position of a quantum particle, the less certain we are of its momentum. And if we know its momentum very accurately, then we can't be quite sure of where it is. This is because to observe the quantum particle, we create a photon-electron coupling, collapsing the particle wave function into a moment of time and space that is part of the observer's own created space-time. This can explain what the observer actually sees. In this diagram, a laser beam is sent through a slit. The observer will then adjust the slit so less of the light can pass through it. The observer will see the beam get narrower and narrower as the slit is adjusted closer. But when the slit gets to the quantum level, the light will start expanding into a quantum wave particle function. When this wave function comes in contact with an object or observer, it will collapse into a new moment of time and space. In this way, creation is being created continuously. Because this is a continuous process at the same speed that light moves, the wave function of light between the atoms will always be a universal constant, independent of the motion of the source. This can also explain why light is so beautiful when it strikes an object. It is because we are looking at a moment of pure creation of time and space. This theory can explain the paradoxes and weirdness of quantum mechanics, uniting the classical mechanics of Newton and quantum mechanics into one unified theory.